Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. All right. This is Hell Hasbro Reviews. Glad you came back. All right. I always love to see y'all. Anyways, today I bring to you a third party transformer. This is Moss Toys. Moss, their new company. Uh, this is Skiff. Skifferoo. Skiffy, Skiffy, Skiffy. Skiffa. This is their take on Bumblebee from the Cybertron you know, days. Um, it was on that first episode with Will Jack and Thundercracker and all that good stuff. You know, I had the Tetra Jets. Pretty cool. So, before we move on to the accessories, and you know we have them, because what would a Transformer be without one? I want to show the box, because it's kind of a special box. My buddy, my pal from Shattercast, uh, Bobby12K, y'all know him as Bobby Skullface, he did the art for them. And it's awesome. Look at that. He's smirking. He's got the little light up eyes. It's really good. And he wrote it for he signed it for me at TFCon for Deluxe from Bobby Skullface. So I thought it's pretty good because you know pretty cool because you know I, I know somebody that's famous. You know, go figure. Anyways, it's good to box art. Anyways, look him up. If you don't know Bobby, hmm, got problems. All right, moving on to accessories. Here we got, he's got a face plate or a face mask or whatever. Nice, can we focus? All right, I think it's focus, all right. He's got blue eyes and he's got some silver paint on the face paint, face plate, can I say that? Been cool if they would have colored that, but uh, you know, whatever. It was good. And he comes with two pistols, the same, same thing. No paint, little details, and you know, go figure. But, awesome thing is, they do store right there. You can put both of them on each side, which is pretty nifty. Uh, kudos to Moss Toys. Alright, well let's talk about this guy. Alright, he comes packaged in his little Cybertronian glider. I don't know if it flies, I don't think he flew, he just glided across the thing. does have wheels which is cool so it does roll he's got some black paint right here looks like this is painted yellow the rest is just plastic and you got underneath carriage right here you know so nothing nothing big I wish I would put more black maybe on here that would have been nice maybe red for the thrusters if they're my thrusters I guess but so it's just a simple you know simple design but it looks good you know little a little light, but it's not too bad. Now that might be that might be painted too. I don't know. It looks like a little different yellow shade than those, but can't tell that well. All right. All right. You know what's up next? Crapagonics. There you go. Looking good in a trailer park. So he's a good good size. You know, he's a little feller, but you know, Crapagonics. Information and this is this little guy right here. Look at the sculpt face right there. It's got some silver and blue. Got some good head motion. Got to look down pretty good. Look all the way up, side to side. All right. Got these big old shoulder pads. You can have this little back piece right here. I like to. Looks pretty good with that little face. You know, if you, you can go all the way down too, or you know, you can have it all the way up too. But I like just like in the middle. So whatever your preference is, you know, you can move it up and down, but um, I like it like that. Um, these move up and down a little bit, not much, and then you can free range all the way up there. Does have a bicep swivel, does have a little knee bend, or elbow bend. Man, these get in the way, these big old shoulder pads. Eesh. But. You know, that's all you know, the ball joint up there, and there's some hinges up there, and then there's a ball joint that goes into the arm right there. You can have these any way you want to, which these get in the way too, but look pretty, you know, not bad. Got the curvature with it, like that, pretty good. Uh, the hand does move in and out, up and down, like that. Nothing, the fingers don't move or anything like that. It does have a, a waist swivel and a little, uh, little ab crunch. Well, looks good. You can do the Van Dam. Bow swivel, knee bend. There's the yep, knee bend right there. 
and you can go uh, tilt up a little bit and yeah, tilt it down pretty good and a little rocker not much these uh, hinder a rocker so but you can still get a little one that's all that little matters so yeah that's skiff right there and the weapons can store up back here too if you want to store them back there so yeah that's him in a nutshell all right and here's a couple of my bumblebees that I got. I'm not going to throw any of the movie ones out because I have tons of them. But you know, I thought I'd throw in the, you got the G2, you got the G1, Classics, uh, Beast Hunters, uh, Animated, you got Classics again, MP, Classics, Animated, and Beast Hunters back there. So, you know, I just thought I'd throw in a couple of yellow guys in there. So they look pretty good together. I like that. All right, final thoughts on this guy. He's okay. You know, he, I, I like him. He's, you know, got some good things going for him. I don't like the 85 bear shoulder pads on there for him. Um, the no paint, really. Um, let me talk about the weapons are pretty, you know, they're all right. You know, nothing to write home about. A little sculpt in there, no paint or nothing like that. The materials, they feel pretty good. I, I didn't feel like there was anything going to break or anything. Uh, this right here is a little, a little loose, but it's not that bad. Sorry. Uh, the paint, uh, there's not hardly any paint at all. Uh, I wish they would have put more black on it or something. Uh, maybe break up the, you know, break it up a little bit. But you know, it's not that much. So not really good on the paint. Transformation's easy. A little flip of the legs, they flip out. You know, and the arms attach up here. Uh, it's real easy. Not bad at all. Articulation, eh? It's it's okay. I guess there's a lot of stuff gets in his way. These big old shoulder pads. These right here. You know, waist down, you know, it's pretty good. You got a little, little rocker, not that much, but it's not that bad. Um, so overall, I would probably give this guy seven Moss, Hell Moss toys. Um, you know, if you like the uh, Cybertronian look, you know, from the first episode, which I, I, I think we're getting some Tetra Jets and some other stuff, which uh, look pretty good. Um, kind of look forward to it. And, it. and it's pretty cheap, you know, it was 35 bucks. You know, it's not bad. So, you know, if you like Bumblebee and you like this kind of, type of stuff you know definitely pick it up um yeah so i guess that is it i will get down on the floor and do some floor time so why don't you come down there and join me and be my neighbor all right just want to ask y'all a question um does anybody like bumblebee i mean i hear a lot of people you know <clears throat> they like optimus prime starscream as their favorite character you know megatron Soundwave. i don't hear very many people say they like bumblebee as their favorite character I mean, I'm, I'm sure I know the kids love them, and you know the ladies like the bumblebee. So, but do any of the you know any of the people that watch me like bumblebee as a character? You know, I don't know. just just asking. Pew pew pew. He does have a little pew pew. Raj, you must die. Pew pew. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. It's always cool to play on the floor with some Transformers. You know what I mean? All right. Well, well he does have a little rocker. I, I'll take that back. He, well, no. I mean, it, you have to, it hits a ball joint right up there. Uh, it, this thing hinders it real well. I mean, it has a rocker on that side, but as far as going inward, it doesn't really have one. Uh, it's a shame. Anyways. Well, hope you like my review. I hope you like my floor time. Um, I mean, he's all right. I mean, he's, he's a decent price. I mean, if you want the Cybertronian stuff, you know, definitely go out there and get him. It's 35 bucks. It's not bad. Um, great artwork. Uh, once again, Bobby, 12K. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. If you like this kind of stuff, definitely pick it up. Uh, all right. Well, as always, uh, thank you for watching. And, um... Hell Hasbro and all that good stuff. So um, I guess I'll see you on the next review. Good night, folks. I have big shoulder pads like the 85 Bears. Yeah.